This template has a nav bar, but how did it get there? Let's delete it and go through the process of, of putting it there. So you would select the parent box for the nav bar and then select space for the nav bar. And having selected space, you would go to the toolbar and click on insert nav bar. And then you would choose the, the type. And then you would choose the background for the nav bar. I'll give it a box effect so that we can see it. Having done that, and with the nav bar still selected, you would go to the toolbar and click on select space for nav bar link. And then you would drag out some space. This is going to be a link when we've filled out this form. So we would browse to the page that we want featuring in the link. Enter the text for the link. And then we'd say which window we want it to be, the, the, the link to two page to be displayed in. We can have the same window or tab or a new window or tab. We'll go for the same one. Okay, so this link, the visit end page, the links don't have to be on the nav bar. You can put them anywhere you want. But the convention is to have some in rows or columns. So we'll go with the convention. And what you would then do is proceed to put the other links on the nav bar. There you can see it properly. But I personally don't like the nav bar with that appearance, so we'll just go to the properties and we'll take off the box effect. Okay. So you then just put however many links you needed on here and you'd be done. That's nav bars.